yeah, you know what's up? It's that time again for those hamburgers, yo, what's up? Check it out. Hey. Do you like burgers? I mean, obviously you do. Who doesn't, right? I love them and I loved them back in my youth as well. So today I want to talk about a little game called American Dream that was all about burgers. It was a business simulation game where you had to found the biggest burger franchise in the US. And you probably never heard of the game. I think this is the first YouTube video about the game and even if you Google it, you only find about a handful of references. So why is this? Well, first of all, the game was only released in Germany, developed by a German developer, never seen an international release. And even though it's all about the American way of life and the burger hype, um, it's only got a release here. Um, second of all, well, I have to admit, it's not a very good game. I played the heck out of it back then, but I was a sucker for any business simulation game and, and I really love figuring out how to play those games. And last but not least, well, in 1996 the internet was not such a big thing, so nobody really talked about it on the web, so you can't find many references. So that's why I'm here. I want to talk about that game and I want to tell you all about it. Well, let's go. What we have here is the re-release of the game by Play It Easy and it's published actually by Infogrames, not directly by Sunflowers anymore because Infogrames later on bought the rights from Sunflowers before everything merged more or less into Ubisoft. I used to have the big box release back then but unfortunately I gave it away, threw it away or something happened with it, I don't know. Um, but this is just fine, it's the same game uh, what, that we're looking at here. We got a small handbook, um, nothing special here, just roughly explaining the game, not very much in detail. Um, most things are still left for you to figure out, um, but we see about the gameplay later. Something that is special about the game that I wanted to show before we hop right into are the audio tracks. You can actually put the CD in your normal audio player or listen to it in your car and you get a small selection of songs, um, mostly hip hop songs. Um, it's kind of weird, it's very 90s um, and I have to show you at least a few of those now. Now let's get going. After setting up some settings, we select the location for our first restaurant. There are quite a few cities available, but we try to start in a big one to get many potential customers. Our opulent office is the main menu for all activities in the game. 
It's here where we get our messages and we manage our first very basic restaurant. First off, we have to hire some staff for a restaurant, some cleaning personnel, some cooks and somebody that is selling the burgers to our customers. The next big important thing is buying all the food. And this is very tedious at the start because our storage capacity is really low. So you have to buy and buy and buy and buy again and buy even some more. And there's a little caveat that your food can be spoiled and your customers will sue you if they get sick buying your food. But you can just get an insurance to help that and then you buy the food that is spoiled the easiest because that's the cheapest and you forget all about the food poisoning in general. Very nice. As you might have realized already, the graphics in humor are also somewhat special. But hey, those were the 90s, right? So once your restaurant is running, you can upgrade it or find new restaurants in new cities. At some point you will be promoted and the game changes dramatically. Where you were mostly micromanaging your one or two restaurants, you can now hire managers. They will take care of your daily business so you can focus on expanding your franchise. Now you are able to found restaurants in new states, manage a centralized warehouse and delivery network and even create your own recipes. Unfortunately, this sounds a bit more exciting than it actually is. Most of the time you will just pray the speed up button and wait for money to pile up as your managers take care of the daily business. The game kind of plays itself at that point and you only spend big amounts of cash on the really important upgrades. So it's no wonder that German gaming magazines weren't thrilled with American Dream. They criticized the stale formula for business simulation games that were popular at that time and they pointed out the lack of interesting decisions or any real challenge. I still had fun revisiting the game, but sure, there's a lot of nostalgia involved for me. So if you understand German and can get hold of a cheap copy, I'd say give it a try. It's not a game for the Hall of Fame, obviously, but I say it's still worth to be remembered. Thanks for the company down the memory lane and I hope you like the video and consider subscribing. There will be more obscure retro gaming in the future. And with that, see ya!